Bonde, and thank you for speaking with us today. Um, the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe voted on two resolutions today. Both of them were considered one-sided and pro-Azerbaijani by many. And yesterday we saw a small protest in, in front of the British Embassy in Yerevan. What was your reaction to the protest and did you expect it? Well, of course, we um, absolutely acknowledge the right of anybody to express their views and we were very pleased to have the opportunity to share our thoughts with the protesters yesterday. It's a shame that they didn't want to come and talk to me directly and I'm very grateful to you for having the opportunity to explain the UK government position. It's important to note that the, one of the reports that uh, you refer to was written by a, a member of the British Parliament I should say a former member of the British Parliament, and that his views don't re reflect those of the UK government. In a democracy, it's important to understand that the government cannot dictate to members of Parliament, um, but we also need to understand that parliamentarians don't reflect the views always of the British government. And we saw today that the draft re resolution did, did not pass, and uh, the voting was very evident. How did the British chairmanship vote? Uh, my understanding is that actually the vote was split and that there were British parliamentarians who voted against the resolution as well as one who voted in favour. But as I say, this is very much a decision for the individual members of parliament themselves and something over which uh, the British government has no influence. Of course, we provide opportunities and take opportunities to brief members of parliament, our ministers and diplomats and other officials, to explain to them uh, UK government policy. But of course, we can't tell them how to vote. Um, a lot of the anger that came from the discussion was the wording, because Araba was referred to as an occupied territory. Is this something acceptable within the British uh, foreign policy? Such okay. wording. I would prefer not to comment on the actual uh, document itself. As I say, that was very much a matter for parliamentarians and not for the British government. But I would like to take the opportunity to reiterate the UK government position, which is that uh, we are fully supportive of the um, OSC Minsk Group co-chairmanship, which holds the mandate for um, being the framework for a negotiated settlement of uh, the situation. Um, and for us, we urge the parties to work hard together within that format to try and reach a, a peaceful solution to the issue. Uh, the basic principles have been agreed and established, and we think those should be the format and the foundation for an agreement. And we'd urge both um, the Armenian government and the Azerbaijani government uh, to continue efforts, particularly when we see an increase in this escalation, uh, which is of concern to us all, I think. And your mission in Armenia started relatively new. Uh, what are the main subjects of your mission? What are your ma main focuses in Armenia? I think it's four months today since I arrived, um, which may seem a long time, but I still feel as though I'm on a very uh, steep learning curve. Uh, very happy to be here, very much enjoying engaging uh, with the government officials, parliamentarians and uh, Armenians across the board. We're actually in the process of planning our next three-year programme of activity. Um, our interest is in working closely with Armenia to help promote prosperity and stability and security, both for Armenia and for the United Kingdom. So we're looking at work with various government departments. We have people working at looking at commercial opportunities between our two countries. And of course, uh, as I understand is very popular, we're hoping to promote British culture as well. And one last question. It's a common belief that sometimes uh, foreign diplomacies in Armenia favor a friendship with Azerbaijan because of oil interests or pet petroleum interests. And it's uh, usually a source of worry for Armenia as to what do we have to offer. Uh, I wouldn't actually agree with that. I think we take our relationships, as the, certainly I can speak on behalf of the, uh, the British, uh, we take our relationships on a case-by-case -case basis. Of course, in some countries we have particularly strong commercial interests, but we have a range of interests across the board, and so we don't uh, differentiate. Personally, my impression of Armenia is that we have a great deal to share, um, and I think we have a, plen a lot of work to do together, and I'm looking forward to working with your uh, government, as I say, to, to that end. Thank you very much. Thank you for speaking with us.